I am staying in Bilbao. Bilbao is a city of Spain, but also a city of Basque. The historic Euskal area includes the current administrative division of Spain Basque Country and the French region. Corica is a festival that connects the entire region with burning. The baton, symbolizing the Basque language, is passed from hand to hand, and participants from each city and village run throughout the Basque country for 10 nights and 11 days. The funds raised through this festival will be used for public Basque language education. March 21st. Today is the day when this year's Corica passes through Bilbao. I walk to the spot where the group is scheduled to arrive at 6, 4 p.m. As I am wandering around looking for the exact location, a family wearing Corica vests quickly walk by me. I follow them. People are bustling on the street. There are about 20 spots in Bilbao alone, but there are so many people at each spot. Surprising. This is just a big road along the train station, but it suddenly feels familiar, like the scene of some village festival. I can see a lot of covid covering vests and Basque flags. Some people wearing a selective Bilbao uniforms. Every time I see the strong support of Bilbao people for this football team, I wonder if they love their local soccer team because they have strong pride and affection for the vision. Now, pick up the camera and look at each person's face. I see things like expectancy, attention, business, and hustle and bustle. My expectations also rise. They all turn their heads toward the roadway and wait for the group to arrive. Some people applaud. A broadcast car and a stiff motorcycle pass by. I think it will arrive soon. Everyone waits expectantly for the previous runners to run up. Everyone shouts slogans in Basque. I can see two trucks with Corica region there and a huge number of people behind them. It comes pretty quickly. People clap, cheer and make eye contact as they run. Although they look tired, their mouths are full of smiles. The energy I feel as I start running is so great that I can't help but keep up. Oh, it's pretty fast. I try to run while holding my camera and taking pictures, but I fall behind. Still, I keep uh, taking pictures because I want to capture the faces of these people. The group that departed from the Avando now moves to Casco Viejo. I step out of the line for a moment to catch my breath. After crossing the bridge, there are some people who remain where the running group has, catching their breaths and gathering together to take pictures. It seems like everyone runs through their own neighborhood, so the whole of Bilbao can run this fast and the entire Basque country can run together. After watching these people having fun and resting, I get on a bike and cross over the Delto. More people are gathered here in a park in Delto than at the abandoned train station. They shout pleasure, shout slogans, and welcome the approaching group. They are just running, but everyone has smiles on their faces. Just like the name and slogan of the event, our airy, proud people, I can feel that they are building pride by burning, laughing and shouting. People running quickly toward the setting sun. The group plans to circle the uptown and return to their store. I walk to the next spot and wait. A huge crowd approaches and the heart and energy in running pours into me. I am immersed in that energy and take pictures of people passing by for a while. A mother running with a crying baby on her back, a parent running with a baby carriage, a child running holding another hand, teenagers running together, and a person riding a bicycle. Some people wave when they see me holding a camera. A person running with the Basque flag, a person running with the Palestinian flag, 
eyes linger especially long on the Palestinian flag. Why is the mind crying for the freedom of Palestine? It makes me think about being able to live in their own land under their own name and about the sovereignty of a community and the borders of modern nations. This time I give up my desire for photography and run together. Even though I can't understand some difficult slogans and have no sense of belonging to the past country, I naturally left. I run for five minutes, but my camera and luggage are heavy, so my stamina is quickly depleted. I go to the side of the road and look at the people passing by. As the sun set, I head to almost the final location of the Bilbao Road. Across the street, I see teenagers full of expectancy and excitement. There are also children who give bright greetings to every passing car. And running group of vibes, this is my first time seeing Barton properly. It is so fast that it only lasts a moment. But I look at for a long time that two women running with a holding the Barton together. The teenagers across the street looked so excited that I saw they would running together, but they only cheer and laugh and do not join the group. Even if they don't run in person, there are many people who are beside the road with their heart. The police cars to protect the rings have passed, and the street is now quiet. The sun has set, but the intense heat remains in my heart, and I can still feel it. There is a saying that the Basque language is the only space of freedom for the Basque people. Language contains its own unique culture, story, and identity. Basque is said to be a language in danger of disappearing because it is not the official language in most parts of Basque country and is not the primary language used in daily life. Even though the Basque language is no longer spoken on a daily basis, in other words, the only space of freedom disappears, isn't experience like Korika the reason that people can maintain their identity as Basque people. I think the graffiti carves all over the streets, the local football team, and everyday moments like Agu as greetings all come together to maintain the current Basque identity.